Howdy guys and gals, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, and we are on... Take a guess... A CLIPSIDE! <laughs> ba -dum yeah, that was... That, that was weak. Yeah, that was pretty weak, dude. I'm just saying. Just saying, you, you really... You should have thought that one through more. <sighs> Bad joking aside, we are going to continue our plight, I guess would be the word for it, up the mountain. So let's get up here, man. We're not up the mountain yet. We're actually close. Terry's nest. Who the heck's Terry, man? Who in the freaking world is Terry? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, you're the little beast of burden that started crapping down, or spitting spit wads down on top of my head. You're lucky I'm feeling generous, or I would have just, like, let loose some eggs, man. Wait, what? What the fudge? No, no boss music time! Oh. Give me my eggs back, you filthy light-fingered bear! Uh, what eggs are those again? Don't play the dumb fool with me! I want my eggs back or else! Or else what? You're going to become extinct soon, anyway! Maybe so, but not before you two! Oh, them's fighting words. Terry, the disgruntled pterodactyl parent. I don't even want to know how you're supposed to know how to spell that correctly. Ow! Oh, great. Wonderful, dude, really. Just freaking wonderful. Hmm, I reckon I can get a better vantage point around the other side. Yeah, well... <clears throat> think again, excuse me. It don't matter how many times you... What? 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 Uh, okay. This is gonna probably gonna be a little tougher than I thought. I thought this fight was supposed to be super easy. What the heck, man? All right, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, take these grenade eggs and just fire at Terry, basically. You can fire any type of egg you want. The grenade eggs are the strongest. Those eggs hurt. I'm off for re to rest for all. The mucoid so soften you up. While the mucoid soften you up. And apparently my narrator it can't read worth a flying flip. I should probably get his eyes checked. Hey, where did all my snotty buddies go? You've stolen them too, just like you stole my precious eggs. Lady, you got issues, and I got lots of tissues here. You're welcome to them. Instead of dropping them on me like I'm a giant wad of tissues or a used piece of toilet paper. Seriously. Ugh, well, thankfully this boss battle is actually pretty easy. As you can see, we've already gotten her health all the way down to six, just using the grenade eggs. Another thing I should probably make note of is if you're a Dragon Kazoo, this is actually pretty easy to get rid of these guys. All you have to do is press and hold the B button down, and this makes getting rid of these guys a piece of cake, because otherwise you could actually potentially get clobbered by these guys pretty nasty-like. Alright, you bats with wings. You bat with wings, I should say. It's time for you to pay the ultimate price. Oh, I'm sorry, no. No, I'm over here. Come and get me. Oh, no, no, I'm over here. Hmm. I will admit, though, she actually can be pretty tough as far as homing is concerned. Ouch. Point proven. Point. Terry. 50 love. Oh, I don't know. Stop it! Oh, oh I've had enough! <laughs> What's this? A boss that actually... Give, gave up before we it exploded or failed belly flop belly up mm -hmm. oh I kind of feel bad now oh oh I tried my best but I'll never get my eggs back from you now <laughs> oh no uh, we haven't got your eggs Terry what you haven't oh dear sorry about the rough stuff <laughs> that's all right I enjoyed it uh, well, perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Oh, would you know you'd be a darling? That's real nice of you. See, there are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Hmm. Mm, leave it with us, Terry. Oh, oh, please find the eggs for me before I become extinct. Oh, I'll give you half the reward now, and then half later. How's that sound? Ooh, good nugget. I say, that's a winning reward right there. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this. 
Ooh, nice, a flight pad down below. Sweet! We have a way to fly around! Where was that before when I had to walk everywhere? Seriously. Huh, <sighs> oh well, complaining aside. Oh yeah, this is basically the, uh... It's trying to pan and show us all the eggs. It doesn't actually show you where all the eggs are, but it gives you an idea that these little boogers are spread out. They are a pain in the booty. Let me say that in layman's terms. Real pain in the booty. Too fine, but we're not going to talk about butts. We're going to get a cool nugget, man. And if you come right down here or in the middle of the nest, build through this, guess what? It's another gold nugget! Yay! Gold nugget, gold nugget, gold nugget! Oh, so many dings are going to be popping up now. Gold nugget. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I just had to get that out of my system. I've just been itching to get a gold nugget spree going on here. Now then. Now then. Jeez, what am I? Some kind of famous comic book character? Yeah. Now then! It's because I was doing Terry's voice. Except I was doing it with a female kick to it, even though it doesn't sound very female. Seriously, dude. Chill! Chill or be chill? <sighs> okay. Oh, there we go again. What did I talk about last episode? I was going to stop doing the okay stuff. Well, we're not going to worry about that at this episode because we already did an okay so episode. We need to worry about other stuff. I went down the freaking entrance there without thinking about it. I actually want to come in here, off to the far right, and this will lead you right... Guess where? Guess where? Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. That's right. Inside the mountain. Where are we at? Inside the mountain. Oh, man. Could we be getting any more specific? Oh. Ooh, look at that. Awesome sauce. Epic sauce! So now we have... We... Well... Uh, I don't know if you remember, but we actually... Oh, jeez. Don't be falling off the edge here, dude. We have a flight pad that's somewhere down there. Can I get close enough to look? Please? Thank you. Ugh, I can't even see it. Oh, actually, no. No, I can. Yeah, right down there. Wow, you can even zoom in. It'll actually show it. There is our flight pad. We'll actually be able to use that to get up here. You know, if you're inside the mountain. Uh, because there is actually an egg right up there, but we're not going to get that egg just yet. We're going to hold off on that. For now, we are going to go, go solo with Kazooie here, because this is just much easier. Oh yeah, eight points for originality on the cannonball, or the Kazooie ball, if you will, I guess. I don't know. Feather bomb much? Beak bomb? I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. What would you call a Kazooie cannonball? The can the Kazan Kaza the Kazan bomb? Can we stutter it off there? The Kazan bomb? That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it the Kazan bomb. Man, that'd be one heck of a bomb. Seriously, you know, bomb bomb. Fire! 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 <laughs> like that card game. I remember my cousin played with me the first time. I swear, I was very Oh, jeez, 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 Get get out of the freaking swamp, you nasty. It's not time to go wallowing in the green gunk. It's time to get stuff done. Seriously. <laughs> what even, man? I just need to chill. Uh, what was I saying before I got all miffed and discombobulated? I was talking about a story about my cousin. Okay, yeah. She played this card game with me, and it's just a stupid card game you do with somebody. You ask them if they want to play Bomb Bomb Fire, and essentially what you do is you stack the deck to where you have like three or four black cards, either a spade or a, uh, what's the other one? Club, yeah. And then right after that, you either have a heart or a diamond. You tell the person that you're playing that every time you see a black card, you say Bomb. And every time you see a red card, which is a heart or a diamond, you say Fire. And basically, the joke of the thing is, you, is you're gonna say you're gonna have them go bomb, 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 and as soon as they say fire, you flick the cards at them basically, and say, hey, how about a new game? Play 52 pickup. Yeah, no, it was it was kind of a stupid thing. But as I said, I was I don't think I've ever said this like openly before. But sometimes when I was little, I think I was pretty gullible actually. I think I still am that way sometimes too. Uh, childhood. Oh, isn't that a lovely thing? Look at that. Oh, he's so adorable! So cute! Oh, that's one of my precious babies. Oh, isn't it cute? He's so adorable! He's so cute! He just brings a tear to my eyes! So cute! Too fluffy! Well, scaly, but still. Oh, he's so cute! 
mean, excuse me while I scratch the inner side of my leg here, which sounds like I'm doing something else that's nasty, but I'm not. Ah, dang it. I hate when my freaking leg does that. It's like really itchy. Okay, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are talking. Yes, talking gibberish. In Oogaboogoo Cave, as it showed on the little cutscene, there is a second egg here. I think I also said this an episode or so ago. Yeah, yeah, it's another one of your eggs. Yes, it's cute. We know this. We've been here, done that. Sing a new tune, will you, with the dialogue. Seriously. <coughs> what was I saying? I was talking about uh, how we learned the move Hatch, but there really wasn't a use for it other than to make it look like Kazooie is squatting to take a pee break or take a leak or something. We actually have a use for it, and it's actually in this episode. So, yay for that! Hooray for productivity! Now, if I can just figure out where the heck I have to go. The last egg that you want to pick up is... or the last egg. The third egg you want to pick up... Well, actually, you can pick these up in any order, but the last egg we'll get to in just a second. It's actually inside the mountain, you know. INSIDE THE MOUNTAIN! How many times have I said that? That's seriously, am I trying to make a new counter? No, we're not doing that. Gold Nugget is our counter. The one and only, the holy grail of crystalline deliciousness. The freaking gold plated chicken nuggets. We're gonna call them gold nuggets for this case, but that's okay. They're still golden chicken nuggets or gold nuggets. Seriously, dude, chill. Just chill. Ugh. I need, my commentary is on crack today. That's what it is. You know what it is, guys? I don't, I don't take crack, but and I don't condone it. But apparently, my cra my commentary is going to be on crack today, and I'm not going to call. And that's not what the title of this episode is going to be, because that would be like taking ideas from other people and try to use it as our own and claim that we did it originally, which would be definitely a no-no thing to do. You don't want to do that. But seriously, I think that's what this episode is about. In here, in Ungabunga's cave, there is an egg, believe it or not. It is very well hidden here. You would not think to probably look here, despite the fact that you did learn the move in this cave. It still begs the question, how is the player supposed to know that you're supposed to go in here? But this is this is why I wanted to... or not this is why, you'll find out why I wanted to wait for the last egg. In here, will you get the freaking honeycomb? Thank you. Down this little pink, narrow corridor. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty freaky. This is our hidden egg. This is probably your fourth egg if you've been using this for a guide or you're sitting there playing and you're like, okay, where the heck are all the eggs at? Oh, that's another one, precious babies. Mm. Oh, isn't he cute? He just got one ball. Just go play, save it. Oh, don't worry. We'll get it. Man, look at that. Look at that. Look at her face. She's like, seriously? Why are you putting me through this garbage? We're not dancing. Get out of here. You're a bad dance partner. I already clarified. You stomped on my feet three times. You done stomped on my feet three times, and the dang fool didn't even apologize. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to pull that accent off. I did. I, I didn't. I clearly didn't do it that time. But I think I was watching Medea goes to jail or something like that before I recorded that episode or something, and that's what gave it the kind of twangy twist to it. Thankfully, we're not inside the mountain. How many times? That's not funny anymore. That, that's just not funny anymore. Stop. Seriously. Yeah, you'll notice that the way the world, or the world, the warp pads are arranged, it's pretty weird. Like, I don't understand why they put the stop a source warp pad on the top of the list. I mean, if, you, if you're warping from another warp pad, the world entry exit is going to be the first warp pad choice you have for the default. But for some reason, the stop a source plane, well, planes ones is the warp pad of choice. I don't know how that happens, because you clearly are not going to get there first. What am I doing? Dude, get get out of the backpack, you silly. You silly goose, come on. You know what, I actually, I could have probably just gone in here through the waterfall area. What am I, I don't know why I did that. That's just crazy. Alright, so down here is a flight pad. We need to use that. Let's do that right now. We are taking way too long. I'm going to have to cut out some of this like, traveling around. This is just silly. Like, seriously, this is a simple task, and I've made it turn into, like, an 18-minute process or so. Actually, it's, like, closer to 15, because of the crap I have to cut out. So here is our last egg, so let's hatch it. Squat, Kazooie! There you go. Yikes! Ooh, she's a big girl, isn't she? Too right! She can't even fly! Hmm, I'm not sure if there's enough room in here, our nest. 
Mm, you couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? You heartless little... Only joking, only joking. Yeah, I'll bring her back to me and I'll work out an exercise program for her. I'll just go ahead and find Banjo then. Oh, you little brat. Pass bucket, passing the buck on to your partner. Well, then again, I guess it's only fair because he's the guy with the backpack, so... Yeah, you're probably thinking, okay, what does Banjo have to do with this? Dude, move the camera, seriously. Well, as it just so happens, we used a taxi pack move in the last episode. So what do you think we're going to use here? Get in there. Get in there, thank you. Stay quiet. No talking in the backpack. Yeah, that's right. We got to take this bird on our back, condense it down into the pa backpack, and carry it to the top, just a few feet away, actually. This is why I said save that egg for last, because this makes the whole transitioning process or the... The whole, let's get this gold nugget process much easier, trust me. You do not want to make your, make more work for yourself in this episode, or in this episode, in this area. Get out of there, man. Oh, that's the last one! Thank goodness, Kazooie won't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Oh, too bad, so sad for that one. Oh, here's the other half of your reward, as I promise. Yeah. I go, Nogget, ladies and gentlemen, and chops of the world, it's another go night. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is an appropriate okay, by the way. We have officially finished collecting all the gold nuggets within Pterodactyl Land that we can do and collect. That is it for this world. And quite frankly, that is it for this episode. I just went the wrong dang way again. There I go. I'm going the wrong way again! Hello! What's new there? So, this is pretty much where we're going to end off, so I'm not going to jerk y'all's chat anymore. Thank you all for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't watch Tail Slap. And in the next episode, we're going to do some backtracking! Oh yeah! That's something to look forward to. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!